Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 163 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of surface area and volume. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And previously last video in our channel, if you see means we have posted about the color tokens of campus recruitment, which is recruiting for 2021 and 2022 batch. So if you want to apply for that company, you can watch that particular video and apply for that company. And also we are posting daily aptitude solutions in our channel. So if you want to regularly follow that videos, please subscribe to our channel. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, 50 men took a dip in a water tank 40 meter long and 20 meter broad on a religious day. If the average displacement of water by a man is 4 cubic meter, then the rise in water level in the tank will be what they are asking. So in a tank, the dimensions they have given us 40 meter and 20 meter. And the if a particular man is being put into that water tank, the water will get displaced by 4 cubic meter. Similar way, 50 men are taking a dip in that particular water, what will be the rise in water level they are asking. So this is what we have to identify. So total volume of water displayed we displays we have to identify first. So for one man it is going to be 4. So for 50 men it is going to be 4 into 50 which is nothing but 200 meter cube. So rise in water level how we will be identifying. So first we have to take the displacement of water. So volume of water displays divided by the dimensions of the tank. So dimensions of the tank is going to be 40 into 20. So 200 divided by 40 into 20, if you do means you will get it as 0 0.25 meter. In the options they have given all the options as in centimeter. So convert this meter into centimeter, you will get the answer as 25 centimeters. So option B is the correct answer for the first question. And the second question is, a rectangular block 6 cm by 12 cm by 15 cm is cut up into an exact number of equal cubes. Find the least possible number of cubes. So they have given a rectangular block of all the dimensions, length, breadth and height. They are cutting the rectangular block into equal cubes. We have to find the least possible number of cubes we have to identify. So first we have to identify the volume of the rectangular block. Since the rectangular block and cubes is going to be measured in the size of volume. So we will be calculating the volume. So volume is nothing but length into breadth into height. So 6 into 12 into 15 if you do means you will be getting the volume of the block as 1080 cubic centimeter. So and also what they are asking uh, find the least number of cubes and also all these cubes will be cut into equal cubes. So we have to identify the side of the largest cube. So how can we find the side of the largest cube? We will be taking the HCF of all the dimensions of the rectangular block that is 6, 12 and 15. So size of the largest cube will be 3 cm. So how many volume of cubes can be formed using this particular 3 cm? So 3 into 3 into 3 you will be getting the answer as 27 cubic centimeter. So one volume of cube is going to be 27 cubic centimeter. Total volume of the block is going to be 1080. So 1080 divided by 27 if you do means you will be getting the number of cubes as 40. So option B is the correct answer for the second question. And the last question is a right triangle with sides 3 centimeter, 4 centimeter and 5 centimeter is rotated the side of 3 centimeter to form a cone. The volume of the cone so formed is what they are asking. So they have given the three dimensions of the right angle triangle and is rotated to the side of 3 cm to form a cone. So they have given that this triangle, right angle triangle is being formed into a cone. We have to identify the volume of the cone. So height of the cone they have given as 3 cm. So it's rotated the side of 3 cm to form a cone they have given. So this 3 cm is taken as the height. And radius is equal to 4 cm. So radius is nothing but the right angle triangle base we are taking. So that will be the 4 cm part. And volume of the cone is formula is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h. We know the value of pi and r value they have given us uh, 4. Uh, so r square will be 16 and height will be 3 divided by 3 if you do means pi value they are keeping it as, as it is because in the options they have given the uh, answers like that. So volume of this particular cone will be 16 pi centimeter cube. So option C is the correct answer for the last question. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Signing off from here. Bye. Take care.